on the previous video i showed you how to use the cisco cml for free that's cisco modeling labs the network simulator from cisco that allow us to deploy different network topologies with different network devices that was a great option especially for those who couldn't have access to cisco official images but the way to use it would be to reserve a Cisco sandbox on Cisco DevNet platform. There was also another option to use Cisco CML in your own computer, but then you would have to require or to purchase a license from Cisco so that you could use it. Well, recently Cisco just announced a new version of Cisco CML that will allow us to run Cisco CML in our own computers for free. Yes, that's what you heard. We can use it for free. We can run different types of network devices, but with one limitation. We can only run five devices at the same time. Now, if you're screaming only five, yeah, I get it. But don't shoot the messenger. The goal with this video is to show you how to download and install these new Cisco images so that you can start building your own topologies and also have a taste of what it feels like to use the Cisco CML in your own computer. Okay, so first we have to download the Cisco CML directly from Cisco. I'm going to share the link to this in the video description. So first let's go to downloads and here we want to search for uh, modeling modeling labs and here we have the latest release 2803 tire and it, because i'm going to use the vmware workstation so there are two files that we need to download so one of them will be the cisco modeling labs so this image is for deploying on vmware so that's actually the vm the virtual machine that we're going to use and there is another file that we need is the reference platform. So think like this. So we have the VM and then we need the images or the nodes that we're going to use to build the topology. So we need to download both files. Now you have to log in and then you'll be able to just click on download to get those files. So after downloading, we're going to import the OVA file into VMware Workstation. So just type the name and set the storage path to wherever you normally deploy your virtual machine. After importing the VM, don't turn on. Okay? Okay, so first we have to extract the other file we just downloaded. So this is going to be the ref plats uh, ending with ISO. So I'm just going to select and extract all. So I'm just going to extract to my desktop. Okay, when the extraction is completed, just take note of a file that we're going to reference inside the VM. That's going to be uh, this file, the biggest one, the disk image or ISO file. Okay, so now let's go to the VM settings to reference to this file. Okay, so here on CML, I'm going to edit the virtual machine settings. And so let's go to CD. So I'm going to select use ISO image file. So I'm going to also enable connect uh, power on. And here I'm going to reference the file or the disk image file that I just mentioned. Okay, so now I'm going to power on the VM and let's see Cisco CML. Okay, so we're just going to press enter and it will begin loading Cisco CML for the first time. Okay, so let's continue with the configuration or installation of Cisco CML. So just going to click on tab to accept the end user license agreement. Uh, welcome to CML first deployment configuration. So let's continue, continue, continue. I'm just going to leave the default name, continue. And here I'm going to set a password for C's admin account. Uh, your password is not strong. Yeah, no problem. So the admin, so now the admin account, it's actually the one we're going to use to log in into Cisco CML uh dashboard okay i'm just going to set my password yes continue anyway so in case we want we can use the dhcp or set manually the ip address i'm just going to leave a uh, uh, default so i have dhcp server enabled on this interface and just confirm that everything it is the way i want and it's going to start configuring the vm now 
If you did reference the second file in the ISO settings, you're going to see this message. So just type enter to continue. Once the system is configured, it means that we now can access Cisco CML using the browser. So just going to look at the IP address that was assigned to this machine and we're going to use it to log into it. Okay, this is the URL I'm going to use to access Cisco CML. In my case, it is HTTPS 192.168.43.211. So let's go to my other VM. And so I'm going to use Firefox. 2168438211. So that's HTTPS. Just going to confirm this, proceed. And that's Cisco Modeling Labs. Now, just uh, one side note here. First, I tried to open it using uh, Microsoft Edge. For some reason, it wasn't working. Then I tried on Mozilla Firefox and I was able to log into it. So just take note of that. And so I'm going to log in using the admin account and I'm going to type my password. Oh, authentication failed. Okay. Okay, and we are inside. So this is Cisco CML. So I'm just going to dismiss this and we should be able to take a look at system health status. So we want to make sure that everything is green. Okay can close this and we're using the free tire so now let's add uh try to build a topology here so because this is the first time we are opening this so we'll have this uh walk through like if we click on next going to explain to us how can we do things on cisco cml how to add nodes uh once open so oh, these are the nodes that we uh we can use so we have a firewall, we have a router, we have uh, one, two, three, four desktops. Uh, we have uh, IOL, that's a layer two image. And we have uh, an Imagine switch. This is just like a hub. So we're just going to click on exit. Let's actually try to set up a real, real simple topology. So for example, uh, let's add one IOL. Let me drag this. Uh, probably another one here and so let me add a switch as well that should be enough just for demo it's just and i want to remove the, the grid no it's here yeah just prefer to use it that way okay so i want to connect this router to the switch that's going to be the interface i'll be using create link and another link between the switch and the router okay so i'm just going to change the names and let me change to r1 okay and i'm going to start this node and these ones so i'm just going to name it as switch one and i'm going to start this node as well and this is going to be r2 and I'm going to start this node as well. Okay. Now, if I want to start making uh, changes, configurations, so I'm going to open the console. So I'm just going to use the right click on the mouse. Then I'm going to click open console. Okay. So what are the things that we can do? So just the same way we use on Cisco devices. So let's first change the name. So host. So that's the interface. This is going to use uh, 12.1 as the IP address. Enable the interface. Let's enable also eRGRP. 1.1. Just enable this interface just to see if we can run dynamic routing protocols in this topology. So now let me bring the switch console. So, okay. So the switch just use vlan one so that's going to be in the same network so i'm just going to name this as given an ip address dot three shot so route the edge ip by two one two three okay and so just for fun i'm going to assign an ip address to five 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 
okay and on eigrp i'm going to advertise this loopback as well and i should see the jcc coming up but i didn't see it one two three two ping one nine two one six eight one two three okay what about one okay so let me just change the host name and can i save yeah i can now if i can ping one nine two one six eight one two one what about eigrp neighborship no do show ip hip interface um, let's see why it should hmm let's bring r2 that's for the moment so console open console so first let me change the host name the others one and two one six eight one two two no shot well one and two one six eight two two uh that's network yes okay so we can see a jcc with with the switch but not with the router so let's see if i did some mistake on r1 oh yes so no let me see if i can grab that yes one two one six eight one two one I should see the JCC coming up, yes, between switch 2 and R2. That's great. So, and I should also see R switch 1 loop back. So, essentially, it works and we can build uh, more topologies. But again, we have the limitation of only being able to run five nodes at the same time. And we can add other devices, other nodes if we want. So, in case we want, we might use the firewall or we can use one of the desktops or Ubuntu machine or even the external connector to connect to networks outside of this topology. So, just use your imagination and creativity. But essentially, that's what it is. You can start using Cisco CML for free on your own computer. Now, if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.